Once we have our setup, we can move on to the rest shape tab. Once an object has end cloth, in this case our sim cage, the geometry cannot be altered. In JC Autocloth, you can make changes to a duplicate mesh that will be called our rest shape, and the sim cage will be updated. This section also has features to create controls that can be animated to alter the mesh. To begin, you can select a shader color for your rest shape or use an existing JC shader. For new shaders, name it and make sure that new material is selected. Select the master control of the object you would like to create a rest shape for and click Create Rest Shape Rig. This rig can be created at any point of the process. As you can see, the SimCage master control now has a rest shape visibility attribute. Once this is created, changes can be made to the rest shape mesh. For example, let's say that we want his sleeve to be longer. We have a few ways to do this. We can directly sculpt the mesh. We can then click play and we see that our simulated object is immediately updated. Now let's say we don't like how it snaps on the very first frame. We can select all the vertices that we move directly and click on revert vertices. If we hit play again, we see the simulation is back to how it was. We can make a cluster control. We can begin by selecting the vertices we want to edit, then we give the new cluster a name. Now click Create Control. This control has zeroed out transforms and is easy to animate versus modeling directly on the mesh. We can put a keyframe on frame 1 at the original position and on frame 50 move the control to make the sleeve longer. When we hit play we see the gradual change in the sim cage. However, the weighted deformation of the rest shape is not smooth. We can select the cluster in our cluster list. Then click the paintbrush icon. Now you can see a white and black representation of the region the control is manipulating. White is 100% influence and black is 0% influence. This is a 0 to 1 scale in Maya. We can move to the extreme pose on frame 50 and begin to paint a fall off. This geometry deformation looks much better. We can hit play and watch the simulation slowly grow the sleeve. Now let's say the art director comes along and decides to scrap the sequence with the stretching sleeve. You simply select the cluster name in the list and click the trash can. All the nodes associated with the clusters are gone and our rest shape is back to the way it was before. The tool comes with one more deformation type, Delta Mush. You can simply select the rest shape object, type in a name, and click Create Delta. Unlike the cluster which has a control, the Delta Mush affects the mesh as a whole, and the node lives inside the inputs of the object. In the attributes, you have various options. If you don't like how the edges flare out, you can go into the Attributes Editor and uncheck Pin Border Vertices. In JC Autocloth, we can select the Delta Mush in the list and click this paint icon. We can shrink the sleeve, for example. This concludes the demonstration on a rest shape tab.